Okay, guys. Today, what we're going to do is um, go over this 6-4 quiz, and I'm going to go one by one. There's word problems. I know that I already went over these word problems, and I know that I taught the skills. I'm just going to go ahead and record this, uh, this quiz review. And that way, hopefully, it could help you out. The first one says that the parent-teacher organization is selling baskets of cookies for a school fundraiser. The materials needed to make each basket cost $3.75. And the baskets are being sold for $10 each. If they spend $75 on advertising um, to advertise their sale, how many baskets must be sold in order to break even? Well, what's going to happen here is, just like I've taught always, over and over, the first thing we do is label the variables. Very good. So I am going to call x the number of cookies either sold or made. And depending on how many cookies are sold or made, you're going to make y, which is either going to be an expense, because every cookie that you make costs money. And actually, it's not cookies. It's baskets, guys. Whoever said cookies, I'm sorry. It's baskets. we got to be pay attention. It's baskets of cookies. And then y is expense, and it's also revenue. It's both. Because your revenue, what you make, depends on how many you sell. And your expenses, what it costs you, depends on how many you sell. So that's the first part. Now, let's think about it. My expenses. My expenses that I see here are Y equals cost 350 for each basket, 375 for each basket. So 3.75x, and and they spent $75 to advertise, so plus 75, and then my revenue, what I make, is going to be y equals they're sold for $10, 10x. Okay, I'm not going to go ahead and waste my time and do the math, guys. I I, I do apologize, um, but. I'm not going to do the math. That's just wasting time at that point. But the answer is going to be 12 baskets here. Go ahead and do the math on your own. And let's see if you can figure that out, OK? So the answer, again, would be 12 baskets. X would equal 12 baskets. OK, number two. I'm going to just do the setups for all of these, because by now I'm hoping the mechanics are there. There's a uh, a beaker of 3.5% acid solution and a beaker of 6% acid solution in the science lab. Mr. Larson needs 200 milliliters of a 4.5% acid solution for an experiment. How many milliliters of each solution should he combine? Well, first things first, as always, I'm going to call X the number of milliliters of 3.5% solution. That's me. Y is the milliliters of the 6% solution. OK? And here it says that Mr. Larson needs 200 milliliters. So aren't the, the number of milliliters of 3.5% solution plus the number of meters of 6% solution must give me 200 millimeter, milliliters? Does that make sense? And then that's the totals, now the values. Well, the number of milliliters of the 3.5% solution plus the number of milliliters of the 6% acid solution must equal a 4.5%, but remember, it's 200 milliliters of 4.5. It's 200 milliliters of 4.5. So it's 0.045 times 200 because it's of. Remember, that was the trick that we had talked about for the percentages. Yes, sir. Uh, OK. Well, I'm not, I'm not going to solve it. Um, you guys can do the mechanics at home. The answer is going to be 120 milliliters of the 3.5% solution, comma, 80 milliliters of the 6% solution. 
Fine job, son. Yes. Um, you kept it at three point five and and six, and then you went four point five times two hundred. Okay, what you did there was, oh, I would not do that. Don't do that though. Whenever we work with percents, you got to turn to decimals. Please, is my suggestion, sir. Thank you, son. Okay, boy, I'm running out of time here. Okay. Let me do this last one right quick. For number three, okay, a plane flies at X miles per hour um, in still air. That means that when the air is just nice and still, there's no wind in front of him or any wind in back of him, that's still air, okay? We talked about this as well in one of our examples last week. Um, flying with a tailwind, Remember, what does a tailwind do? Does that... It pushes behind you, correct. So that is helping you. So with a tailwind, the speed is 485 miles per hour. Against the wind, its airspeed is 445 miles per hour. I'm going to call X my airspeed. And I'm going to call Y my wind speed. And now at this point, it's very simple. Air speed plus my wind speed, that's with a tailwind, gave me 485 miles per hour. Air speed minus the wind speed gave me 445 miles per hour. My answer here is going to be they just want to find, what do they want? They want the value of the wind. Believe it or not, the, the wind speed here is going to be 20 miles per hour equals wind equals Y. Stop, please. Don't move, please. Last but not least, just for giggles, what does break even mean? That's not what I defined. Very good. Break even means that revenue equals expenses or income equals expenses. May God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Study hard.